Hey readers, welcome back. Remember, this week we are working on making text to world connections. So thinking about something that's happening in the world around us, something that we're seeing on the news, or even on uh, maybe on YouTube or in some videos and movies on TV. So the book that I'm going to read today is called The Number Fairy. And as I read, I am going to be making some text to world connections. So this book is by Joan Scott Curtis, and it's illustrated by Jenny Slaver. Hanging the, num hanging the nine above the door, the number fairy smiled. She loved hanging the numbers on children's birthdays. Quickly, she fluttered through the house, counting every nine she had hung. Tomorrow morning, Dylan would jump out of bed and see the nine hanging in the side doorway. The number fairy wanted to be sure there were nines in every room of the house. As she flew away, the number fairy remembered the first birthday when she, herself, had been born. It was a long time ago in a distant land. Alicia was five years old and in first grade. During September and October and November and December, Alicia went to birthday parties for her friends as they turned six. Her birthday was not until August 29th, and by then, the school year would be over. By February, Alicia came home almost every day saying, I can't wait until I'm six years old. Everyone I know is six. So I have a text to world connection here. Um, one connection that I can make is that in the world, a lot of kids go to school and they're six years old. They're six and they turn seven. Um, but sometimes there are kids like Alicia who start school early and they are five or they have like an early birthday. So she's five and everyone else is turning six. And um, so she is a little younger. So sometimes um, we are not the same age as our friends. And this part right here where she says, I can't wait until I'm six years old, makes me think of another text the world connection. Um, I know in the world, a lot of kids that are younger, they wish that they were older. They want to grow up really, really fast. For me, I was always the baby in my class. My birthday was really late. It's in December, December 14th. So I was always the baby and I just wanted to be as old as everyone else. But now I'm getting older and I don't like it. So <laughs> that's my text to world connection that right now, well, I make kind of made too. That um, in first grade, people have their birthdays and um, there's some early birthdays and late birthdays. And also that some people are in a rush to get older and you don't have to be in a rush. So um, I am actually going to record myself reading The Number Fairy because this book is a special book and it's not found on YouTube. So I'm going to record myself reading it and I will put it in our reading classroom so that you can listen to more about how The Number Fairy was actually born and how Alicia felt um, after she finally turned six. So make sure that as you're reading your books that you are also thinking of text to world connections things that remind you of something that's happening in the world around us off you go bye